Hey everyone, Ranger Josh here enjoying a beautiful morning along Fearson Creek. Today we're lucky enough to get a behind the scenes look at an important citizen science project known as stream monitoring. The health of our rivers and streams is essential to life as we know it. Pretty much any organism you can think of requires clean, fresh water at some point during its lifetime. Small stream organisms known as macroinvertebrates serve as important bioindicators of the water quality, and by observing and recording them over the years, we can really gauge the health of the waterways flowing through our very own communities. Hi, my name is Dennis Kania, and I'm a member of the Illinois River Watch uh, Stream Survey Program. And I've been a member of that program for about five years now. I do all of my monitoring here in Kane County on Fearson Creek, which is a high quality creek, and it's located right here in Leroy Oaks Forest Preserve. So Dennis, what are we up to? Well, one of the first things we have to do is we have to uh, measure the stream flow of the stream. And so the easiest way to do that without real technical equipment is to set up a little race course. And that's what we've done here. We have some flags put in place across a, a stretch of this river or creek. And what we'll do is uh, time how long it takes for these little ping pong balls to float from point A to point B. Go. Come on, little buddy. So basically we're timing how long it takes for the ping pong ball to go 10 feet on here. And done. Certain areas of the creek are more valuable in terms of diversity that we're going to find. And so um, there's actually a chart that lays out what things are most important to, to sample. And we only get to sample two things. We're measuring the width of the... We measured the width. We measured the width, and then this helps us to also to set up our our, um, our little racetrack. What they want you to do is actually pick up a few of the cobbles that are in the, the area you're going to work in. Sure. So um, I'll just pick up a couple. And the reason we want to do that is because there'll be things living on there. Oh yeah, that's Look, a you fruitful order. cobble right there. Right, so let's just take a couple. Just... That's nice, is that a mayfly? Uh, could be, uh, right there is one. That's a mayfly. Okay, so place your D-net. The value of the D-net is that it's flat on the, on the bed of the mm -hmm. creek and so nothing can get past it. So now I'm going to kick around for three minutes and shuffle my feet and try to loosen up any macroinvertebrates so that they go downstream and into the net. Ooh. Three minutes. For gold. Three, three minutes later. <laughs> Time lapse. <laughs> now we got to we can get rid of all Oh, these. crayfish. Yep. So first thing we're going to do is go over those rocks. So with a fine tooth comb, we kind of look them over. And if we see anything of real interest, we'll, we'll pull it off of there. So I'm going to grab these little tweezers here. And I already see something that looks like it's probably, oh, here's a mayfly. Is that another dragonfly right there? Yeah, it is. Holy cow. Those guys are enormous. Oh yeah, that's a mayfly. I have a uh, snail case caddis here which I removed from the rock. And so that's that right there by oh, number eight. Cool. So 
So that's a, actually a high quality organism. So we're happy to have that in our collection today. And so I've placed a few things into the tray. Uh, we're not actually at the point of identifying things. We'll actually do that in a lab with a microscope because some of the mayflies are very uh, difficult to separate out. But what we can see here, right off the top though, these are pretty easy to identify. And right here we have a dragonfly larva. There's actually three of them. And here we have one of our mayflies, and I can't really tell you which one that is. Um, I believe there was another mayfly crawling around in here, probably hiding under somebody. And then we have, this looks like a um, caddisfly larva right here. We have a crayfish right here. Well, there you have it, folks, a crash course in stream monitoring. I want to thank our citizen science friend here, Dennis, for battling the heat and swatting at the mosquitoes, making sure we have as much information as we can to keep our waterways healthy and clean here in the Fox Valley region. Well, as exciting as Josh makes it sound, it really is a lot of fun participating <laughs> in a project like this. So I'm, I'm really grateful to have the opportunity with the state to, to do the monitoring. Thank you.